Thanks, a Pawtucket man accused of his own child's death appears in court today. It is heartbreaking. Police found the one-year-old unconscious Sunday at a Pawtucket apartment. He was later pronounced dead at Hasbro Children's Hospital. NBC 10's Temi Topa Adelaia is live in Providence with more details. Temi? Gene and Patrice, the boy's father, 25-year-old Joao Resendez, appeared in district court this morning, an enraging sight for the baby boy's uncle. My main message to everybody is to get literally this guy to stay in jail. I hope he rots in there and have justice for my nephew. A heavy heart, anger, confusion. Adrian Viveros is feeling all of that and more after the death of one-year-old nephew Santiago Lito. Santiago does not deserve any of this. It's not fair. He's just a baby. He's only a year old. Doesn't make sense to me. Viveros was there when the baby's father, 25-year-old Joao Resendez, appeared in district court this morning. In count one, that you did commit an unlawful killing of Santiago Lido, an infant. He's facing five charges, including manslaughter and Santiago's death. You're not allowed to leave Rhode Island. And if you do leave Rhode Island and don't come back voluntarily, you waive future rights today so Rhode Island authorities can go and get you where you are and bring you back against your will. Police say Resendez inflicted serious bodily injury on baby Santiago and recklessly failed to take steps to avoid injury. A police report says he shares the home with his wife, 32-year-old Carla Sousa, the child's mother, 22-year-old Carolina Lito, and Carolina's sister, 25-year-old Daniela Lito. All three women were arraigned and released on bail on Monday on child endangerment charges. The police report says Carla and Resendez are married, but they recently discovered Resendez was Santiago's father. Police say Carla and Carolina were at the laundromat Sunday morning when Carolina received a text message from Resendez saying he thought their son was dead, but not to tell anyone. A 911 call didn't come until one hour later. Who knew like what was actually going on in the household? Like, I'd love to tell everybody, but I don't know myself. You know what I mean? Like, I only seen what was out on the streets, at family gatherings, stuff like that, nothing else. Adrian tells us that he just wants justice for baby Santiago. Resendez has a surety bail of $100,000 and cannot leave the state of Rhode Island. Live in Providence, Timmy Talk, Badalea, NBC 10 News.